Ever wonder when's the absolute best time to visit the enchanting city of Venice, Italy? Picture a city where the streets are paved with water, where gondolas replace cars, and historical architecture is the backdrop of everyday life. That's Venice for you, a city like no other, floating on more than a hundred small islands in a lagoon in the Adriatic Sea. Each corner of Venice has a story to tell, each canal a secret to share, each piazza a memory to make. But the question is, when should you plan your trip to this mesmerizing city to make the most of your experience? That's what we're here to discover. This video is your virtual guide, a sneak peek into the charm, the character, and the hidden gems of Venice. So buckle up. Stay tuned as we embark on a journey through Venice, exploring the must-visit places and the perfect time to experience them. Venice, the city of canals, is unlike any other place on this planet. Nestled in the heart of Italy, this enchanting city is a labyrinth of small islands connected by over 400 bridges. It's a marvel of engineering and a testament to human ingenuity. The city's geography is unique. Venice is actually an archipelago of 118 islands interwoven by a network of canals. The Grand Canal, the city's main waterway, snakes its way through the heart of Venice, flanked by stunning palazzos and punctuated by the iconic Rialto Bridge. Now let's delve into Venice's architecture. It's a blend of the Byzantine and Gothic styles reflecting the city's rich history and diverse influences. The Doge's Palace, with its intricate lace-like facades, and the stunning St. Mark's Basilica, adorned with gold mosaics, are stellar examples of this architectural fusion. Venice's culture is deeply rooted in its history and traditions. From the sacred to the secular, the city's calendar is chock full of events. The most famous of these is the Venice Carnival, a spectacle of masks and costumes, a celebration of the city's historic love for theater and performance. You can't talk about Venice without mentioning its iconic gondolas. These traditional flat-bottomed boats, steered by gondoliers in their distinctive attire, are more than just a means of transportation. They are a symbol of the city, a testament to its relationship with water. Venice's history is as rich as its culture. Once a major financial and maritime power, the city was a bridge between the East and the West during the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. This vibrant past is evident in every corner of the city, from its architecture to its art, from its food to its festivals. Indeed, Venice is a city that will fascinate any traveler. This floating city is a living museum, a testament to the enduring allure of history, culture and beauty. It's a city that has managed to preserve its unique character and charm, offering a travel experience that is truly one of a kind. So, when is the best time to visit this mesmerizing city? Venice, the city of canals, is a stunning spectacle throughout the year. However, the type of experience you'll have can vary greatly depending on the season. Let's start with spring, from March to June. This season is often considered the best time to visit. The weather is comfortably warm, the city is blooming, and the tourist crowds haven't reached their peak yet. The downside? Well, it's also the start of aqua alta, or high water season, where certain parts of the city can experience minor flooding. Don't worry too much, though. It's usually manageable and can even add to the charm of Venice. Then comes summer from June to August. The city is bustling with tourists and the weather is hot, often reaching into the 80s. If you don't mind the crowds and prefer a lively atmosphere, this could be the season for you. But be warned, accommodation prices soar during this peak season. Autumn from September to November brings a more tranquil atmosphere. The temperatures cool down and the tourist crowds thin out. It's an ideal time for those who prefer a quieter, more relaxed travel experience. However, aqua alta can intensify during this period, leading to more frequent flooding. Finally, winter, from December to February, can be incredibly atmospheric. The city is quieter, the fog that often hangs over the canals creates a mystical feel, and the Carnevale di Venezia in February is a spectacle not to be missed. But it can also get quite chilly, with temperatures often dropping below freezing. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of visiting during peak and off-peak seasons. Peak season, which typically spans from April to October, offers warm weather and numerous cultural events. However, it also brings larger crowds and higher prices. Off-peak season, from November to March, provides a more peaceful experience and cheaper rates, but you'll have to brave cooler weather and potential flooding. 
Therefore, the best time to visit Venice really depends on what you are looking for in your travel experience. Whether you're a fan of bustling summer festivals, serene autumn strolls, or the mystic charm of winter, Venice has something to offer for everyone. Now that you know when to visit Venice, let's dive into the must-visit places in this city. First up on our list is the iconic St. Mark's Square, often known as the Drawing Room of Europe. This bustling square is the heart of Venice, brimming with history, architecture and an inescapable charm. Here you can find the stunning St. Mark's Basilica, a masterpiece of Byzantine art, and the Campanile, the city's tallest building, offering breathtaking views of Venice. Each corner of this square tells a story, making it a must-visit for every traveler. From St. Mark's Square, a short walk will lead you to the Doge's Palace. This magnificent Gothic palace was the residence of the Doge of Venice, the supreme authority of the former Republic. Today, it stands as a museum showcasing splendid rooms filled with masterpieces of European art. The palace's grandeur and the tales of power and politics it holds within its walls are sure to leave you spellbound. Next, let's traverse to the Rialto Bridge, one of the four bridges spanning the Grand Canal. This iconic stone arch bridge is not just a passageway, but a symbol of Venice. With shops lining its sides and a stellar view of the canal, the Rialto Bridge is a perfect blend of function and beauty. It's a vibrant spot where you can soak in the Venetian atmosphere while watching gondolas glide by. Venice is not just about the famous landmarks, it's also about those hidden gems that offer a deeper dive into the city's soul. One such place is the Scuola Grande di San Rocco, home to a collection of Tintoretto paintings, making it a paradise for art lovers. Another hidden treasure is the Libreria Aqua Alta, often hailed as the most beautiful bookstore in the world. This unique bookshop is filled to the brim with books, maps and postcards, some stored in gondolas and bathtubs to protect them from Venice's high tides. It's a bibliophile's dream come true. And let's not forget the islands of Murano and Burano. Murano, famous for its long-standing tradition of glassmaking, and Burano, known for its brightly colored fishermen's houses and exquisite lacework. These islands offer a delightful escape from the city's hustle and bustle. Finally, to truly experience Venice, take a gondola ride along the city's canals. There's nothing quite like the serenity of gliding through Venice's waterways under bridges and past centuries-old buildings. It's an experience that will etch Venice in your heart forever. These are just a few of the many captivating sights that Venice has to offer. Venice is a city that captures the heart of every traveler. Throughout our journey, we've discovered the allure of this floating city, a place where the past and present merge seamlessly. Venice, with its winding canals, historic landmarks and vibrant culture, has a unique charm that is hard to resist. We've learned that timing is everything when planning a trip to Venice. The best period to visit is during the spring and fall. During these seasons, the weather is pleasant and the city is less crowded, providing a more intimate experience. The winter months, though chilly and foggy, offer a different enchanting perspective of the city. We've also explored the must-visit places in Venice. The iconic Piazza San Marco, with its stunning basilica and the Doge's Palace, is a testament to the city's rich history and architectural prowess. A gondola ride through the Grand Canal offers a unique perspective of the city's charming architecture and serene atmosphere. And let's not forget the islands of Murano and Burano, known for their glass-blowing artistry and colorful houses, respectively. But Venice is more than just its iconic landmarks. It's about the unique experiences that only this city can offer. It's about savoring a cup of traditional Italian coffee in a local cafe, wandering aimlessly through narrow, winding streets, and watching the sunset over the lagoon. It's about the feeling of stepping back in time as you explore the city's rich history, and the thrill of discovering hidden gems tucked away in quiet corners. In Venice, every moment is a postcard, every turn a new discovery. Whether you're a history buff, an art lover, a foodie, or simply seeking a unique travel experience, Venice has something to offer. Its charm lies not just in its beautiful sights, but also in its ability to make every visitor feel like they're part of its story. So, pack your bags and get ready for an unforgettable journey in the magical city of Venice, Italy, 